Please be something good. It's a ginger! What's the chat and chows? That's uh, Joe here. Welcome back to another episode of the Pokemon Diamond Randomizer Nuzlocke. In the last episode, we arrived here from Roma Town after taking on the first gym and receiving our first gym patch. But it did cost us Moon R Rolls. But it's okay because we are moving on with life. We've got a great team. We do. We did catch Mark 2 at the end of last episode. I'm still unsure whether I'm going to be using Mark 2 because I'm not really interested in it. It's not really a bird. It's a bird, but it's not the kind of bird I really uh, want to be dealing with right now. So I'm going to probably store him in box number one with all the other Pokemon I'm not very really interested in using right now, like our sh like our uh, Spinarak, our Lady Burr, our Igly Buff, and now our Spearow. So I'm gonna just gun it with five Pokemon for the moment in time. Hopefully that's a hot that's not a horrible decision I'm making here, but we'll see. Anyway, today we are gonna be taking on the Verity Windworks. That is the plan for today's episode, to take on the Verity Windworks. But before we go into all that, Pokemon has just released a brand new bunch of news to do with um, uh, the Isle of Armor and Crown Tundra DLC, mostly to do with the Isle of Armor. There was a little bit to do with the Crown Tundra as well, but most of it was to do with the Isle of Armor. And, of course, with it was a brand new mystery gift that has a mystery gift showcase for you guys going up on the channel tomorrow. As I'm recording this Tuesday, you will see this episode Tuesday night at its normal regular slot. And then tomorrow, you will receive, tomorrow lunchtime, you will receive a brand new mystery gift showcase. Uh, tomorrow tea time you'll receive a brand new community raid hour stream so please come and join us for that we've been doing that for the past two weeks and it's really been fun i cannot wait to give you some more community raid hour because it's just awesome so that's another thing coming in for you guys and then uh tuesday uh, wednesday night we'll have an episode of pokemon gold 97 coming out for you guys so you could say it's a triple upload day on wednesday but really it's just a stream and a video and now a special edition video because you know mystery showcases are once the blue moon and i have to put out a vi these videos when there are events and if i don't put out these videos when there are events you guys won't know there's an event and you guys need to know there's an event that's very important absolutely the most important thing enough arguing hand us over that sweet honey do as we say, Team Galactic must have that honey. We must attract Pokemon in great numbers. Hey, this kid is a witness. What do we do? Ugh, we don't need that brat running off to go and get help. The solution is simple. We need to ensure that brat stays quiet by beating, his, uh, by beating him senseless. Yeah, about that. First off... I'm a very powerful trainer. Secondly, you have a magic <laughs> Oh dear. Sucks to be you. Really does. Oh. Okay, maybe it doesn't. Maybe it doesn't suck to be you. As much as I thought it might suck to be you. But it will suck to be you eventually once I get decent. There's a decent. There's a magnitude 8. Now it sucks to be you. Now it sucks to be you. And a metapod. It even more sucks to be you. For Miz. 
Uh, my magnitude's resisted by you, but if I get a decent roll, that shouldn't matter. Another magnitude H is quite nice. That takes you down to half. If you get another decent magnitude, you should be dead. So another nice magnitude 8 would be nice. But like magnitude 9, magnitude 10 would be also great. Magnitude 7 might work for my for what I'm playing. Yeah, it does. Cool. I got a crit even. Moly, you're OP. And I love it. Yep, sucks to be this guy. Sucks to be Galactic Kim. This is so lame. They're gonna dock my pay. Then stop sucking. Do your work and be good at it. If I'm up next. <laughs> Battling you right after my cohort uh, weakened, your, uh, weakened you gives me the edge. It would if your cohort weakened me. Your cohort did nothing to me. So, once again, sucks to be you, Stacy. Although you have a bat, and I can't really beat my... I can't really beat your bat with my moly... I mean, I can, I can scratch your bat. I can scratch your bat. I can't, I can't magnitude your bat, but I can scratch your bat. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to mag... I'm going to scratch your bat. I can't magnitude it. But I can very much scratch your back. If you try and confuse me, I will be annoyed, though. Astonish is fine. Leech life is fine. Both of those things are fine. If you try and use supersonic on me, I will be annoyed. Nice work, Molly. There we go. We beat Stacy. We beat Galactic Stacy. If only you had decent Pokemon. Yeah, if only you didn't have a Zubat. This prize is tough. Like, really, really tough. Tougher than I can put into words. And apparently I know a lot of words. We're done here. Let's get back to the Verity Windworks. Oof. What is this thing here they seem to have forgotten? It's a works key. It must be for the Verity Windworks. It is no use to me. So you can have it. Thank you. Thank you. You saved me. Those goons were trying to make off with my sweet honey. This may sound very weird, though. You saw... Uh, they sound... They sure were weird, though. You saw how they were dressed. Why is everyone so annoyed by how they are dressed and saying that they are weird because they are dressed weird? You can't stop insulting people's uniforms. What they were saying didn't make a lot of sense either. Oh, I know. I need to thank you. Will you take this as my thanks? I got some sweet honey. If you slather that honey on, a sweet, uh, on the bark of a tree, you'll have a sweet smelling tree that might attract some Pokemon. Okie dokie. Now, how I'm going to deal with Honey Tree Encounters here, I don't know if this randomizes. So I'm going to slather the bark of honey, and I'm going to leave it, uh, and I'm going to come back off screen and catch a Pokemon here. And I will update you in a few episodes. I'll update you on the next episode, which should go out on Thursday of this series. So this episode is going on Tuesday. The next episode should go on Thursday, so that is when I will update you about the slathering of honey and if I got a Pokemon. Because it takes up to six hours to get a Pokemon from slathering. It can take a lower six hours, but it can take more than that to get a Pokemon. And if you leave it for 24 hours, you have lost your chance completely. So depending on the rarity of the Pokemon uh, that you're going to get, depends on how long you need to slather it for. But the fact is, if you leave it for 24 hours, the Pokemon's gone, and so is your honey. So you need to pick it up before then. So before the next episode, I should have something to say about the honey. I got a Helix Fossil! That's two fossils now! Oh, we're going to have an interesting episode when we get back to the fossil place where we're allowed to actually do fossils. But for a moment, we still can't do fossils. So we have to leave it. We have to leave it for now. But when we have the ability to do fossils, this is going to be interesting. How dare you try and get into the, uh, the Verity Windworks? 
I'm ordered to go keep everyone out if they're not part of Team Galactic. You're giving me that look that you want, uh, that makes me see that you want to go in. Then you're gonna have to battle me. All right, fine. I will battle you. I will give you that look to say that I want to get in here. And with a chicken reader, why? You have a level 12. Damn it. I bought out flippers because I wanted flippers to do some work and... Flippers can't work against these. Flippers can't work under these conditions. Robert, get out there, please. Alright, Robber. I'm relying on you to do the work that Flippers sadly couldn't do because this guy has a Chikorita. Because otherwise, I am going to be in trouble because grass types scare me at this moment in time. I don't really have a lot to deal with them. Yes, I probably could have brought Mach 2 onto the team, but I don't really don't want to bring Spearow onto the team. I've used Spearow uh, a few times and I'm not particularly a liker of Spearow, so I didn't really want to use it. I'd rather go with five Pokemon for the moment in time. I have ideas of what I would like to use with my uh, as my next Pokemon. If I find good encounters, I know I have the uh, same strength stuff, but like, it shouldn't really stop me from getting decent encounters. There's some good baby mod, you know, as first stage evolutions that I could get that were horrible. I mean, look at Zigzagoon, for example. Zigzagoon is a first level, is a first stage Pokemon, but it's not horrible. He's okay. I mean, I wouldn't throw him out the back of a burning car, but I wouldn't save him for the. I wouldn't save him from a burning. I wouldn't save him from a building car either. <laughs> that sounds horrible. <laughs> anyway, this isn't. Uh, this isn't that uh, just great. Getting owned by some kid, but you can't do anything if I lock the door behind myself with the works key. That's right. The other works key is not here. My cohorts in the fiery uh, patch have the only other works key. Huh. Uh, in that sense, I'm in no danger, loser. Later. Good junk. Yeah, see about that. If I d if you didn't tell me your friends were in the um, flowery patch, I wouldn't know where the other late uh, where the other key is. So, if you didn't tell me that, I wouldn't be able to go and... Uh, it wouldn't tell me to go and get the key from the people in the flowery patch. So, don't tell me where the other key is, you idiot. Also, I've already beat them and got the other key. I just need to go and heal. Because, you know, poison. I know that I don't get... I know I don't lose Pokemon outside of battle, but the fact is... I still want to go and run in heal because poison is annoying. Uh, by the way, uh, the uh, the Pokemon that appears here, the Drift Lunar counter, I might uh, come back off screen and deal with that as well, like I'm doing with the honey tree. What? No way! You had the other key already. Locking the door is meaningless. I am the loser in it. I am the loser in this after all. Yes, you are. Well, no time for self-pity. I gotta alert the commander. But you're a loser. At least wallow in self-pity for the moans inside to make me feel better about, you know, beating you. All right, what do you have for me? Oh, it's Stacy again. Stacy this time has a whooper. Flippers, we could deal with a whooper, right? Mud bomb. That's that's flippers for you. Flippers finally found some work. There we go, flippers. All right, so there's another galactic runs here, and for the final galactic, uh, for. For Mars, I think we might have to switch into Kabudops. Oh, here's Ka Really? Here's, Ka here's Galactic Daniel, and he has a Caterpie. Really, Galactic Daniel? Really? 
Really? I mean, Galactic, um, uh, one of the Galactic Grunts had a, uh, a Metapod, so... These Galactic Grunts suck. Again, I know I'm playing under certain strange strength mods, but there are Pokémon that could be really troublesome, but still, even in the first stages, these aren't them. And our second Pokémon is a Numal. I would like a Numal. Numal would be brilliant for me right now. Numal is a great first stage Pokémon. I love Numal. I've used Numal and uh, Camerupt on several different LPs, and I really loved it, so I would love a Numal. Nice work, Flippers. Alright, so I'm going to put Kabudox up front. So that's Slasher, our starter. I'm going to put that up front for today uh, to face Mars. I'm one of Team Galactic's free commanders. We're trying to change the world to make it something better than this one that's already exists right now. But people have shown little understanding to what we're trying to do. Maybe you don't understand either, do you? It's a little saddening. So let's have a battle to decide what we're going to do next. If I win, you'll leave. If you win, we, Team Galactic, we'll leave. Alright? Then you're going to leave. It's as simple as that. You will leave now. You have two Pokemon, you start with a Mucky Hitter. Why do you have to start with Mucky Hitter? I can't deal with Mucky Hitter. Alright, Hardy, get on in here, please. Slasher can't deal with this. I need you. You have a move which you deal with this. You have Gust. Fake out's kind of annoying, but, you know, I would have flinched either way, so. It's fine doing it now. Because that way I don't have to deal with flinch. Just does nice damage. Side attack's annoying, but I'm going to switch out after I'm done with this, hopefully, as long as it's not another fighting type that she has. That's replacing her for Rugly. There we go. Mark you hit her down. And a fortress. Okay, so I'm gonna go into slasher on that. It's not the best Pokemon to deal with this, but then again, there's not really a lot of Pokemon that can deal with this. I'm gonna rock smash. does absolutely nothing. It lowers your defense, which is really nice, but doesn't really do anything, so this is going to be annoying. Oh no, it's bided. Oh no, it's storing energy. I didn't know I was going to go for Bide. Okay, it's going to release energy this turn. Okay, that didn't do as much. Da that didn't do as much damage. That's fine. I'm going to harden. This is what he's going to do. You missed your takedown. Yes. Okay, he's not using Bide. Which is nice, because it's, I'm def lowering his defense again. Okay. Rapid Spin is doing nothing, that's fine. I'm going to harden again, just in case. You missed your takedown again, which is nice. Please don't use Spide. He's not using Bide. She's not using Bide. This is great. She is not using Bide. She has a berry. It's only an orange. It's fine. Now she's using Takedown. Okay, I didn't do as much damage because I'm hardened free. I'm hardened. I'm like plus three right now, so it's fine. 
Oh no, he's using. She used by. No! Okay, I need to heal. I need to buy more potions! Okay. You're storing energy. You're gonna release that energy on this turn. Okay, that didn't do a lot. I'm still alive, I'm still alive. Would you... Oh no. Okay, it's dead. I was a little worried there because again I hit it with Rock Smash, but it's dead, so it's fine. Okay, so we're trying to learn Mud Shot. Do I want to learn Mud Shot? Harden Sp It's not the best, and you're not really No, I'm not gonna learn hard. I'm not gonna learn Mud Shot. Give up on Mud Shot. It's not the best, and you're not a physical attack. You're not a special attacker, you're a physical attacker, so I'm not gonna do that. Whoops, I messed that one up. Alright, so uh, I quite enjoyed our battle though. I guess I will say goodbye for now and leave. Team Galactic. Alright, no, sorry. Team Galactic! They were saying that they were trying to grab a Pokemon and energy no matter what the costs. They were trying to create a new universe, or so they claimed. Nothing about what they said made any sense to me. I can't tell you how grateful I am for saving for you saving my life. I can finally see my little daughter again. Papa! Poppy, yuck, Poppy, you stinky. Go and shower now, stinky. Oh, um, <laughs> I'm sorry, um, uh, they have been working non-stop. Thank you, trainer. I think... You made those bad Pokemon. You made those bad people go away. I think the balloon Pokemon will visit again. Yes, the balloon Pokemon will visit the next uh, time it would uh, visit. Uh, so if you, I believe it's a Friday. So and if you were playing on a Friday, it wouldn't automatically appear. It would appear the next Friday. So for me, it will appear on a Friday. So I'll sort that out in a future episode. I'm not. I'm going to sort that out off screen as well, and uh, uh, and we'll. Cap I'll let you guys know how that went. I might do it like as, a, as like an intro moment to an episode or something like that, you know. But I'll do it in downtime. I'll probably like watch a sh uh, do it whilst I'm watching a show or something like whilst I'm grinding or something like. That. But that's what I do when I'm grinding and I. I do grinding down so I'm that's why I don't record my grinding anymore because well A I'm using grinding codes more importantly. Uh, B I have this rule that states anything that dies inside or out uh, anything that dies in grinding is not dead. And C, most importantly Well I have the rule that states that basically um God damn it! I was doing I was Compensating, and now you put my Pokemon to sleep. God damn you, Butterfree. You know, acting so high and mighty because your Butterfree has, uh, your Butterfree has confusion, your Butterfree has sleep powder. My Butterfree doesn't have these things. It's fine, it's fine. I woke up this turn, so I can, s I can scratch him. So I've got a crit, so that's annoying, but I'm fine. One more scratch should kill. Nice. Yeah, so I do my grinding off screen. I'm watching I'm watching TV or um, uh, videos on YouTube or something like that whilst I'm grinding. That's what I'm doing. And that's why I don't record my grinding anymore. But I, you know, I have said I'm going to have intro moments for this episode. And some of those intro moments might be like... Uh, funny remarks I made in the episode, but other ones might be things that I have done outside of episode. For example, catching the Driftloon. Or doing a honey tree encounter. Those are things that I will do 
you know, as intro moments, but they will be done, you know, actually as, um, as we as an episode, actually as an episode. So I can show you guys those things, so you don't think I'm cheating, because I'm not cheating. Very much not cheating. Anyway, this is a new encounter. Please be something good. I want it, 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 I want it. You better give me this. Come with me. Come with me. Come with me now. Come with me now. I do you? Hmm. Hmm. See, I want to bring... I could bring Molly in. I'm doing Astonish. It's, it's not Stab, and it's probably my weakest move. Problem is... This finger's bubble. That could do a lot of damage to Molly. What is that doing to Molly? See? That, I mean, that was a crit, okay? That was a crit, but like... It's still hurting Molly. Okay, so, I don't think I can... I'm not sure I can weaken you. As much as I want to say that I can weaken you, or... I don't know. I honestly don't know. I'm gonna throw a ball and then I'm gonna scratch you, okay? Hopefully you'll live a scratch. Because I can't weaken you or put you in a. In a uh, from. I'm parafused. Slasher, I know I'm asking a lot here. I know you're confused, I know you're paralyzed. I know you're hurting right now, but if you could just get a scratch off, I'd be very happy. Get a scratch off, please. Scratch, uh, slasher. Yay! Okay, lift. And that's all the damage I can do you. Now get in the ball. One, two, Manson Jab. We have a Chin Chow. And we also have a better, uh, we also have an intro moment. Let me check if this is right. Hey Google, spell criminal. Criminal is spelled C-R-I-M-I-N-A-L. Yep, it is spelled right. It is criminal and I love it. There's my uh, there's my criminal. This is quiet nature. Hates to lose. Has dry, likes dry food. Vault absorbs the ability. Bubble, supersonic, thunder wave, and flail are on its move set, and it is awesome. It is very, very awesome. Now, the question is, what am I going to do with it? For the moment in time, I'm going to bring it with me. I know that I don't really need another water type on the team because I have flippers and I have Kabuto, but uh, I mean Kabudops, but uh, for the moment in time, it's my mascot. Yeah, it's my mascot. 
it like it gets priority. I know I don't really need it right now, and I know I don't really need a water type, but it's my mascot. Leave me alone. Also, I should probably buy some potions whilst I'm here. Right, potions. Can I buy like five? There you go, five super potions. And I'll I'll buy another ten Pokeballs just in case I'm running into a situation where I'm gonna need them. Alright. Let's continue on. In the next I would like to get to the next uh I would like to get to I could be Oval Stone. I can evolve Happini. Turn, please. Turn, please. There we go. I'd like to get to the forest before the end of today's episode. We're not going to go through the forest today, but we are going to get to the forest before the end of today's episode. I don't really need to grind right now, so... I will leave as many of the battles as I can for them. I found a Razor Fang! Nice! Okay, cool. And here is a repeat ball. Nice! And here's a dome fossil! Another fossil! Awesome! Like, we've got three fossils now. This is going to be... S when it is legally time for us to deal with fossils, it is going to be so interesting for us to deal with fossils. We do not have the ability to deal with fossils right now, but when we do, it is going to be absolutely awesome. But we do not have the ability to deal with fossils as of yet. I knew there was something here, I just got to, I had to find the right spot, so I found a charcoal. Nice. Oh, I was kind of hoping I wouldn't have to battle you, but fine. You might have a road on. Okay, that's fine. There we go. Nice work, Hardy. I can't really deal with Grodon. Uh, I have a lot of Pokemon that are sort of weak to grass types. Hoodoo would have been cool. Pikachu would have been cool too. I mean, I love Chin Chan, don't get me wrong. These are just cool Pokemon. Cackleon would have been cool too. I barely get a chance to use Cackleon. Just need to get to the rest house and we can end today's episode. There we go. Now we are in the rest house. We can end today's episode right here. So if you did enjoy today's episode, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe for more. In the next episode, we will go for the Eterna Forest, and I will also uh, uh, off screen be dealing with a honey tree encounter. And you will see that as the intro moment for the next episode. But until next time, I'm Lantern Joe. Me to the Pokemon get to Laza. Everybody get Pokemon. Good night. Thank you so much for watching. If you did enjoy this video, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe for more videos. And of course, you can ring the bell and you'll be notified first when those videos come out. You can follow me on Twitter at Lantern Joe, where you'll get news, thoughts, and opinions from me, Joe, and the rest of the Lantern Nation. And of course, if you're a fan of this sort of thing, then you might like Power Zone Metal, a radio show presented by me and my brother Dan, aka the Gentleman of Metal. You can find out more information about that on powerzonemetal.uk.
And of course, if you want to watch more videos, you can watch them by clicking in the top right and top left hand corner of this here end card. And of course, until next time, from me, Joe, and from the rest of the Lantern Nation, we'll see you again.